Hi folks, it's January and I have sprouting seeds. So I thought I would show you the little seedlings that I have. First let me tell you the answer to the question. The question that you might ask is, should I start seeds in January? The answer is no. The reason I have seeds is I am a little plant addict and the little sprouts are so cute and when I get bored or get discouraged or depressed or frustrated or or stressed or anything, I'll plant more seeds. So um, I have some from Washington that Mandy sent me and I have some that we ordered online that were new that we hadn't tried and I just couldn't resist. So I want to take you on a quick tour and show you what the little seedlings look like and the status of my garden in January. My setup is I have two fluorescent lights and that's because it of course is cold outside in January. I have one light here that is next to the baseboard heater. So this is actually the warmest spot in the house right above the baseboard heater and I have these suspended over. These are the seeds I'm trying to sprout here and you can see I've got clear containers and with the lids on top then it stays warm and moist and I'm working on sprouting the last of my seeds. The air comes right under here and keeps this warm and so it warms the dirt and fools them into thinking it's not January. Down here let me go ahead and show you before I go to the sprouting seeds um, you remember in the video that I did before, I took suckers off of the tomato plants back in October. And by November, I had sprouted roots off of the stems from the suckers off of the tomato plants. That's these tomato plants here. So they have survived so far two months, mostly indoors. They're on a nice wheeled cart and I wheel it out when it's sunny and the last few weeks it has not been warm enough at all to put them outside so I have them here under the light. If I can keep them going for just another two months I'll be able to actually put them outside and they'll have a head start on everything else. I'll show you this too. This was my little okra in a pot that I had on the front porch all summer long and it produced okra for us and then I just went ahead I left it outside a little bit too long and it frosted and all of the leaves turned white they're just now getting their green back and then every once in a while it puts out a bloom but none of the blooms have made it yet but again if I can keep this alive I can put it out first thing in the spring and have a head start on my okra so let me show you these. These are from Washington State and they are asparagus. So these are about two weeks old. All of these sprouts are, are roughly two weeks old and they're just cute. You see that they're starting to put their hairs out. So that's what an asparagus looks like. This is the second fluorescent light that I have, and I have it suspended underneath the um, cabinet that I have in the dining room, and it's just high enough that I can keep the plants under to get a good strong light. Once they grow taller than this, I have to move them over to the other one. But let me show you some of the seeds that I have here. Some of them are ones that I haven't grown before. These are loofah. You see they look a lot like cucumber. They're a little different. The leaves are definitely bigger and they have a different texture. They're more of a, a rough kind of texture. It's trying to put out its second leaves here. Let me show you some of the other treasures here. Mandy sent me some seeds from her garden. These are celery. So they have their second leaves here. You can see the 
the shape of the celery, the first leaves were a lot like lettuce, little teeny lettuce. And I wasn't sure whether it was a weed or celery until these second leaves came out. And they definitely look just like celery. I have one here and one here. Now in this pot, I have this other little plant that has come up. It's got kind of fuzzy leaves. What I don't know is if it's a flower or a weed. Since it came from Mandy's yard, it may be a flower. I'm waiting for her to tell me whether or not this is a weed I should pull out or whether or not I'll just leave it as a flower. Here's kind of the back of it. I can show you this. This is the end of a Napa cabbage that we bought at the store and of course it's cut off at the bottom and when we were done with it we put it in water and little roots came out so we are hoping that this will survive and continue to put out new growth. So, so this is the what was left after we ate a Napa cabbage from the store. So let me show you this. I thought that the leaf here looked a little bit like uh, celery but this is a parsnip. I only planted one seed and so this is my parsnip so far. That came from Washington, as did this. This is a golden chard, golden Swiss chard. And look at this. This is an unknown kind of lettuce. Mandy sent a whole package of miscellaneous lettuces. And once they sprouted then, I put some in this container. This has spent... Um, several days outside in the sun, but what I did, couldn't fit in here, I put in this container and it stayed inside. So it is true that the one from inside is doing a little bit better than the ones outside, but these have actually been out in the real daylight because lettuce usually can take a little cold, a little freeze. As soon as we get some weather that's not in the teens or 20s, these are gonna go outside, as will this. This is bok choy. I had a few seeds. They got a little dry. I forgot to water them one day. This is my bok choy. And this is a new kind of pepper plant. You can see it's just starting to put its leaves out. We haven't grown this kind yet. And I can't pronounce it. It starts with a C but I bought these seeds to try it since we hadn't tried this type of pepper. This is a new type of Napa cabbage that I'm going to try. I think it's called Michelli. I'm not sure how to say it, but you see a kind of distinctive little leaves here. And again, as soon as the weather gets just a tad warmer, we're going to go ahead and put this out, even though it is January, by February 1st, I imagine that these are going to be outside. We can go ahead and cover them with a row cover. But the greens and the cabbage family typically can take a, a frost. So this is interesting. This year, I'm trying for the first time artichokes. And I was able to get just a couple. I think this is this may be the only seed I have that that successfully has come up with leaves. I have another one that's up but hasn't uh, put its leaves out yet. But this is what the second leaves look like on an artichoke and of course the first leaves. So we're going to see if we can grow that this year. I realize it's a little early to be starting seeds but I'm not totally nuts. So we're focusing on the greens and this was also from Mandy and this is kale. Um, she sent me two kinds of kale. This one she got from a demo garden with the extension service. And this one is curly leaf. So I just have a few plants of each just to give a little variety. This is interesting. This is a new kind of spinach that Mandy sent. And I can't pronounce the type, but um, I thought it was really interesting. It has pretty purple first leaves. 
first leaves are purple and then this nice uh, rounded kind of leaf so it's doing very well again I hope to put it outside since spinach does pretty good this is arugula um, interesting leaf different than other ones although its first leaves are like uh, cabbage cabbage family leaves and then nice stem these leaves are almost salad size so it's doing very well that's arugula here we have green Swiss chard and another green Swiss chard I planted some red Swiss chard and they have not come up so I'm going to try again on them and last another green that we decided to try was romaine lettuce and so they just in a couple weeks they are a couple inches tall and I will transplant them outside as well and kind of space them out a little bit so that's the extent of my seed sprouting. We have an early start. For January it's not too bad. Some of these things, especially the uh, artichoke, I'll keep in longer, but most of these greens in about two weeks I will go ahead and move them outside in a raised bed that I can cover and that way I can keep them from getting too snowed or too frosted. But and I'll probably keep my little asparagus inside as well. I will keep you updated on how all of these nifty sprouts grow. It was great talking to you. See you later.